everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be unboxing both my BoxyCharm base box and my premium box they arrived uh, back to back so I thought why not go ahead and do them both in one day so we're gonna go ahead and start with our base box and I see something I'm really gonna like <laughs> all right so mm. Sorry, I literally just tried um, a Tarte's like man-eater plumping gloss and it practically burnt my lips off. Like they are still stinging so bad. I put some like some uh, kind of like chapstick on just to kind of help soothe them. But worst mistake of my life. I don't understand why plumping glosses have to be so goddamn painful. Excuse my language, but... This is probably why I don't use them. Uh, so, with that being said, the first item in our base box is from Kate Somerville. This is for sensitive skin. This is a goat milk moisturizing cleanser. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited to try this. Um, she does have some really good products that I enjoy. And I have not tried this yet. And I like trying out new cleansers. Um, there is one right now that I'm using from a first aid beauty and let me tell you that cleanser is freaking gold it has transformed my skin mm, I, I love it so much but it'll be nice to try out something new if it doesn't work i'll just pass it along the next item we have is from trust fund beauty this is a lip oil well it says better than therapy lip oil i don't really use lip oil so I'm just going to kind of like peek in and then put this in like a giveaway. If I can do this with, no, I can't do this without ripping the box. Ugh. Sorry guys. They always have to make it so difficult. That's okay. You guys don't need the box if in order for me to do a giveaway, right? Okay. So this is it right here. Just a clear lip oil. 10 free, non-toxic, 100% vegan and gluten free. Alrighty. Or, you know, I can always tape the top back. I know that's kind of like tacky, but if, in case you guys want to like read the ingredients or something, we'll just do that. But, uh, yeah, I'm putting that in a giveaway. Alright, the next item we have is from Ace Beauty. This is the eyeshadow amplifying base in the shade Light. Awesome. Um, right now, my favorite eye base is from Gerard Cosmetics. Their clean canvas eye base is freaking phenomenal, but I am always up to try a new eye base. So this is what the bottle looks like right here. And that is really light, but that is the base right there. Got a little tackiness to it, so, but I mean, I did put a lot too. So uh, we'll give that a try. Moving on, the next item is from uh, Seraphine Botanicals. This is their Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. I actually do enjoy cream blushes. I think they're really easy to work with. When it comes to like lipsticks and stuff, I mostly just, you know, use my lipsticks over there. I don't really take around a palette. I think that's kind of inconvenient. So this is what the packaging looks like. Nice and pretty. So this is uh, cruelty free and vegan. And then, oh, actually the shades are really nice. Look at those. Those are really, really pretty. You don't even have to use that as a lip product. Those are all three could be blushes. And I like the colors. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this one if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna use it <laughs> or if I'm gonna um, put it in a giveaway. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I have to sit on that one. And the last item is from Violet Voss. Yay! I love their shadows. Uh, this is the Violet Sunset Pro Series Eyeshadow in Pressed Pigment Palette. Yes. 
I'm so excited for this. And this is what the box looks like, just like the outer packaging. And oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's like it's simple with the, you know, the prop with the purple, but it is a very pretty palette. Hmm. Oh, I can't wait to play with this. <laughs> Oh, those are really, really pretty. And these actually, these colors right here really go with those blushes too. So that's actually a well thought out box. Okay, so just a quick recap of how much this one was. So we got the Violet Gloss Palette for 37, the Kate Somerville Cleanser for 40, the Botanicals uh, Lip and Cheek Cream Palette for 42, the uh, Trust Fun Beauty Lip Oil for 18 and the Ace Beauty um, Eye Base is $14.99. We're just gonna round that to $15. So this box is worth $152. Not bad for a base box. That's actually pretty freaking good. <sighs> My shirt's like oh, falling down. This is a night shirt, okay? It's late at night. And I'm ready to go to bed. My hair is a hot mess. But, you know, we're here. We're living. We're doing it. So, this is our premium box. And, hmm, a couple small things in here. Okay, so the first item I see, I'm going to go for the biggest thing, <laughs> is the Rejuvenating Hair Serum. Oh, okay. What, 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 what does this do now? Um... Hair serum provides hair follicles with intense nourishment and instant relief following heat styling. Formulated to deeply penetrate the hair shaft, the serum fortifies the structure of the hair to hair fiber to eliminate frizz and impart a silky smooth finish. Hmm. Okay. Apply directly to hair, spreading evenly from roots to end. For our best results, use on damp hair prior to blow drying, or apply to dry hair immediately after heat styling to seal split ends and prevent moisture loss. Okay, that's that's different. This is very fancy. Oh my goodness. This is what the bottle looks like. It is a glass bottle. Oh my gosh, that is so fancy. <laughs> um, okay, I was a little worried that it's just going to be like some kind of oil or something by looking at it. And then it's kind of like, why would I think that? But this comes with like a little pump. I'm going to have to give this a try. This actually seems really interesting. And as you can see, I do have lots of frizziness, um, especially down in the south. We can get that frizz on. The next item we have is from... Rodile, Rodile, Rodile. <laughs> this is their liquid blush drops. Interesting. I actually don't mind liquid blush blushes. This is in the shade Frosted Pink. Oh, uh, this might not be for me, just because of the fact that I don't really use pink blushes. Oh, but that's pretty. That is pretty though. It's like a soft pink. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Frosted pink. <sighs> oh, and it's like it's got a shimmer to it. Okay. I don't want to touch my hand with it in case I can pass it on to somebody. <sighs> Come on. There we go. There we go. That little pump's really not working all that much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's still a little bit too bubblegum drop for me for a blush. Make a really pretty highlight. Yeah, I wouldn't use that. Oh, oh well, I'll be passing that one on. That kind of pink just really isn't my style. I don't even, I thought maybe we could go a little bit lighter with it, but um, like it was, if it was a little bit more like neutral pink, does that make sense? Instead of this bright sparkly stuff, then I probably would like it, but mm, that's just not my style. Moving on, this is from Riddle. 
This is a roll-on fragrance oil. Ooh, and the, the I guess the, um, the perfume is a question mark. So it's supposed to be a surprise. That scares me a little bit because perfumes are so personal. Like um, me and my boyfriend, we were at Ulta and we were going through like all the perfumes like, oh, I like this or I don't like this and just kind of getting an idea of what each other likes. And there was quite a bit, bit of perfumes, like even the big fancy high dollar perfumes that I did not like. Um, I like the Bright Crystal from Versace, but I just tried the one in like the blue and gold bottle. Oh my God. I wanted to just like saturate my body in it. It smelled so good. <laughs> um, but there was only like maybe a handful, a handful of perfumes that I like. So it is very personal and um, you just gotta be careful when sending something like this to somebody because they might not like it. And I definitely don't wanna put this on me because what if they don't like it? All right. That doesn't even smell like anything, hold on. It is very faint. Whatever this is, this is very, very faint. It's got a little metal rolling ball. Let me see if I can try like, let's do this. I got a paper towels. I'll try this. Guarantee it's gonna make me freaking put it on my body. Mm. I mean, it's okay. It's not like, oh, it smells so good, but it's not like terrible. It's very, very faint, very subtle, no matter how much I'm like rolling on. Hmm. That one's kind of a dud for me too. This is Rose Oil Petal Gloss from Girl, Girl Lactic. I do like glosses, so let's see what this looks like. I probably should have opened it from the other side. Okay. Come out. Ew! What the? <laughs> okay, you guys. I get what they were doing. At first I thought it was like a fungus. So this is the gloss and you're like, what the crap is that? Those are like rose petals. Is that, is that okay to do? What? I don't understand why would they would do that. Okay, can barely read the packaging just because the fact it's so freaking shiny, but it says apply two coats of the gloss to bare lips for a glossy high shine that's infused with rosehip oil, jojoba oil, and vitamin E. Add more shine to any lipstick color by adding the gloss as a top coat over your lips. <laughs> that is so odd to me. So it's just a basic clear like lip gloss, lip oil, whatever. What This says, okay, on the front it says it's an oil petal, rose oil petal gloss. And I don't really like the smell of rose. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh, no, that is not for me. That is not for me. Mm -mm. I just said I do not like rose. I do not like the smell of it. I think it is super strong. Um, maybe if it was ever so slight of a rose smell, I could like try it, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. that is a heck to the null. We're going to be passing that to somebody else that likes some rose because I sure the heck don't. All right. And what is this? Mm. 
this is another oil. All these oils, man. The Better Skin Company Eye Bright Now. This is an anti-puff, anti-dark circle. This is something that I definitely need because I have a lot of puffiness and dark circles, especially from not sleeping like I'm supposed to. Um, it says, use morning and evening, apply to clean skin, place one drop on your finger, and uh, gently apply under the eye area. So, yeah, I will give this a shot. And then the last item, ah, this one makes me happy. Okay, so this is the, I was going to say Kat Von D. Oof, no, KBD Beauty. KBD Beauty, I gotta, I gotta lock that down. Uh, this is the Lock It Powder Foundation. I remember picking this out, but I was like, did I get it or did the box get lost or whatever? I don't know because they have you pick like so far in advance. Um, but it is finally here and this is in the shade Light 130. God, I only hope it is a shade that I can wear. I doubt it because <laughs> I have no luck. I love the packaging on this. This is so pretty. And then, what is this, pop-up? Wait, no, oh, wrong way? No, right way. Ooh, uh, fancy. It comes with like the little old time sponge. We're just gonna play with this a little, just, you know, just for a little bit. Put this on and try and like do a swatch and see if it is my shade. Hmm. Ooh, what is this, a cream? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> A little on the light side, but you know, another thing I couldn't work out with uh, some bronzer. Mm. That's not bad. You guys, look at this. Redness, what redness? What redness? <laughs> All I have on is moisturizer. I don't have any kind of primer or anything. I can't believe I'm doing this old school with a sponge. This does not look that bad. Hmm, why not? Let's just do the whole thing. So the Lock and Foundation is $37. The Blush Drops, $50. Would not pay that. Uh, the Better Skin Company Eye Brightener is $38. The Sutra Beauty uh, Hair Serum for $45. Yeah, I can kind of get that, and the, the bottle is really fancy. Um, the Roll On Oil. Is that the lip oil? No. Roll on oil. Oh, the scent. The body scent. <laughs> $50. Bull sh shoot. Bull manure. Are you saying that this, this is $50? Okay. And then the lip oil for $20. So they're saying that the value of this box is $240. I think that's bull crap. Uh, the base box, I got really good stuff. Um, I think the value of that was spot on. This one, I would say that the hair serum, you know, I'm excited for. I think that's priced reasonably. Um, this eye brightener is priced reasonably. Obviously, we already know how much the KBD um, foundation is. I'm actually really excited for that. That's priced reasonably. Um, but that, the blush drops, I'm sorry, this is not worth $50. And, or, what was it? 
Yeah, it's 50. And then this stupid little oil roll-on fragrance that barely had any scent to it at all is not freaking $50 worth. Um, BoxyCharm, I don't know what the heck you think you're doing when you're putting these prices together. Um, but you really mess this box up because this could have been such a good box had you maybe replaced these two with anything else. <laughs> um, okay, so base box, really good. Premium box, nah. That's that's the only word I can come up with. It's just, nah. But, uh, alright, that's it for the unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you've tried this foundation before, let me know how your experience was. I would love to know. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.